Now, former President John Ejokun Fufo has expressed grief at the passing of his predecessor. In a statement released a while ago, Mr. Kufo said although he and the former president did not agree on many matters of state, he felt Mr. Rawlings was doing the best he knew and could under the circumstances. The statement was issued earlier Friday and uh, here are extras. It reads, my wife Theresa and I are deeply saddened by the passing of former president Jerry John Rawlings, whose untimely death reported yesterday came as a thunderbolt to us and our children. President Rawlings was the longest serving head of state since our nation's independence in 1957. And although he wasn't always, and even though it wasn't always he and I agreed on many matters of state, I felt that he was trying to do the best he knew and could under the peculiar circumstances. When the time came for him to step down as president on 7th January 2001, he obliged and obviously tried to contain whatever reservations he had about me and my government that succeeded him and his government within the bounds of the National Constitution of 1992. In this regard, whatever doubts persisted about his commitment to democratic rule became attenuated and end him a legacy of contributing to the sustenance of democratic governance of our country till his demise. History would give him a balanced place in the annals of our nation. We are left now to mourn him and also express our heartfelt condolences to his widow, Mrs. Nanakunedu Ajiman Rawlings, their children and the larger family. May he rest in peace in the mercies of the good Lord. Daye, President Rawlings, and is signed John Ejekum Kufo, President of Ghana, 2001 to 2009.